Today's video is going to be on the head project. The head project is going to be the most difficult artistic project you do in this class, and for some of you, absolutely the most fun. You're going to start out with new clay, and you're going to end out with a head that looks as close to you as possible. All right, to get started, uh, you're going to have a lot of tools. Some of them you use later and some earlier. I've got them all spread out so you can see them all. Um, you're going to start with a nude bag of clay and lots of little tools and things you're going to use. All right, let's get started. New bag of clay. Open up the bag of clay and you're going to be making a head. The biggest parts of the head are the head itself and the neck. So we're going to start by cutting a block of clay. Don't cut a little skinny slab, but a block. So I'm going to cut down and across and I have a block of clay. All right, let's get started. Um, and remember, you know, and I say it in all the videos, but when I do videos, I do them real quick, you're going to spend four weeks on this project, so don't rush. But here's how you start. You take your big block and you cut it into one-third, two-thirds. You pound this piece into what will eventually become the neck, okay? You pound this piece into what will eventually become the head. So we're going to spend more time with the head than the neck. You don't want it like a baseball. You want it like an egg, okay? So as soon as you've got this head, sort of egg-shaped, there we go, egg-shaped head, then you attach the neck. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but you're going to scratch it and wet it and compress it and do all those good things. I'm just going to squish it on. And now I've got a neck on the head. I'm going to put it on a board. And that is the beginning of making a head. So the very first thing you want to do after you've got the basic head and ne neck put together is to determine where the features are going to be. There's this nice little picture I keep around that reminds us that our eyes are really pretty much in the middle of our, our face. So here I go. Take my wire tool. I'm going to put a little X in my head. And that's going to be a guide for me through the rest of the sculpting process to remind me where the eyes and nose and mouth and things are. Okay, here we go, sculpting. Eyes, I'm going to poke a couple holes. It'll remind me where the eyes are going to be. To make the eyes, I'm going to get some little clay from here. I'm going to make two little balls. Remember, I'm doing this real quick. I'm going to put the two little balls inside of the eye socket. And there, almost the perfect likeliness of me. Now I'm going to take some clay and I'm going to coil it. Watch the coiling thing for more on coiling. And I'm going to take a little coil of clay and I'm going to wrap it around my eye. Well, it looks silly at this moment, but just with a tiny bit of work, just squishing the clay down like that with my thumb, all of a sudden what looked pretty silly now it starts to look a little bit realistic, almost like an eye. Let's do that real quick with the two eyes. So now we have eyes that don't look quite as alien as they were at the beginning. But we need a nose. Once again, don't get carried away with these things. You're going to put a nose on there. You're going to make sure it gets wet, get the things wet. Aha, a nose. A little too big, cut some off. There you go, got a nose on there. Now, once again, it isn't the first application of the nose but it is the adjustments that you make that's going to make this thing look realistic. Same with the mouth. Poke a little hole. Take some of those coils again. Wrap them around, make them lips, and voila, I've got a mouth. Well, not very realistic, but what do we know about our mouth? The top has a dent. So make that little dent. Smooth it out. The bottom is kind of square. And all of a sudden, this thing is starting to look less alien and more human. During the process, you're going to have a picture that I've taken of you, actually four pictures, sitting next to you so you can start to make this thing look more like you. All right, what else do we know about our faces? Our noses all have a little dent here. Let's go ahead and carve the little dent, all right? Yeah, smooth out in there a little bit. Make that nose a little more pointy. All right, now for you, you may actually have hair. Hair was something I once had. I have a lot less of it. But we're going to act like I have some hair, and we're going to add some hair to my head. Okay? And there it is, hair. Oh, my ears. Forgot my ears. Okay, let's put some ears on once again. Take some clay. Don't get carried away. Make them kind of like ears. Got one ear. Got two ears. Aha. Ears. And remember, your ears are kind of along 
the line of your eyes in your picture are going to help you say that. All right, so you're going to spend a lot of time trying to make this head, this face, look just like you. I'm not going to spend that much time because I want to get through the video. But you put your eyes in, you put your nose in, you're going to look at it and say, oh, I forgot my eyebrows, right? So just get some clay. I want eyebrows because I have eyebrows. So I'm going to put some eyebrows in there, okay? Oop, there's some eyebrows. Oop, unibrow and get rid of the middle, okay? Um, now I got eyebrows, I've got nose, I've got a lip. Before, my chin was smaller, I added for some for my chin. I added ears, put little carve marks in there. Starting to look human. You are going to spend a lot of time on this project and make it look as much like you as possible, okay? Um, I'm going to do some, show you a couple little things that help out, and then I'm going to call it done. A, uh, spa, um, a paintbrush with just a little water will help you smooth out features. So if you've got some things that got left, use that paintbrush. Get in there, smooth out those features. You know, you got those extra marks there and things like that around the mouth. Get it looking a little smoother. This is a good way to get things smooth, okay? Um, call it done for this video. Oh, no, 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 my hair, I forgot. Great hair tool. Take this. Oh, my wife always wants me to part my hair this way. Okay, part my hair this way. And then this goes back like that. There we go. My hair looks real realistic. Okay head with a hair. After you get a head that's pretty much what you want, remember you're going to have to fix it later on. You've got to cut it in half because it needs to be hollow. If you try to fire this head solid like that, there'd be water in there and it would blow up. Cutting it in half, wire tool, put it on the head. You want to cut it where there's as few features as possible. So my desired area is right behind the ears, down the middle of the neck, and then you've got your head cut in half. All right. With your head cut in half, take the front and the back. Back usually gets stuck, so I got to cut it off again. And you're going to hollow it out. In hollowing it out, you want to leave the walls of the head about a half an inch thick. So get yourself some trimming tools and come in here and cut out that clay. And you're just going to spend some time hollowing it out. Okay, I'll hollow it out and then come back to you. All right, when you've got your head hollowed, and when it's hollowed, the walls of the head should be about a half an inch thick. Then what you're going to do is in the proper way, I'm going to get those walls wet. I'm going to scratch those walls because I'm going to put this head back together, right? I take the walls, get them wet, scratch them. And now I'm going to take the two sides of the head and I'm going to put them back together, except they should have them in the same direction. Okay, ready? Put the head back together. Now I've got a hollow head, right? And now you carefully are going to press all of the seams. Get those seams smooth. In the places where the cutting has left a mark, you're going to have to fix it. But you're basically just squishing that head back together. At times, you might want to get your finger inside to squish things, but what you're trying to do is get the head back in shape. All right, in the process of cutting your head in half and putting it back together, you will often lose some of the detail. That's okay. Take your tools and get the detail back in there, okay? When you're happy with your head cut in half and hollowed, put it aside for a second. All right, so after you've got your head done, you want your head to sit off of the table. It looks better. So you're going to make a stand. This is a slabbing project. Pretty straightforward. But when you slab your clay, slab it thicker than you usually do. Almost a half an inch. So I'm going to have sort of an oval shape for the bottom of mine. I like ovals. And I'm going to have a similar oval shape for the top of mine. And those two pieces are going to be the bottom of my stand and the top of my stand, and just imagine the head sits on here. So to make the middle of the stand, I'm going to take another slab of clay, I'm going to cut a rectangle out of it, and I'm going to take this rectangle, I don't want it that tall, I'm going to make it a little shorter, I'm going to take this rectangle, I'm going to square off the edges, right? and I'm going to wrap this around, and it's going to be the column in the middle. So when I wrap it around, 
I want those two edges to join, these two edges. So like anything, when clay is joining, get it wet. And then scratch those surfaces. Get those surfaces scratched. And now I'm going to bring the clay and wrap it around. The real important with this is you let the bottom touch. And then you squish it together like this. So you're going to get a nice seam in there. Okay. I've got myself a seam that looks pretty good. You stand up your, your uh, center piece. You squish that all together. I'm going to smooth that out. And so there's, there's the column that's going to hold the head. Now, air has to be able to flow all the way through the bottom, all the way to the top of the head. So I need a hole out of the base, and I need a hole out of the upper part where the head sits. Okay. And once again, in my normal quick doing this that you're going to do slow, I put my bottom slab here. I take my top slab, wet it, scratch it, put it together. I take my top one, wet it, scratch it, put it together. Now I've got something for my head to sit on. You are going to take a lot of time doing this, making sure all these seams are real smooth smooth out the edges with a sponge, but then you're going to take your head and mount it on top of there, and all of a sudden, you've got a head sculpture. Take a lot of time, smooth everything out, have a lot of fun, and that's making the head.